10 Cap Dust Countdown. John Richardson, John Locke, Jonathan Ross, Rasheed Hannity, David O'Doherty, Susie Dent, and Rachel Riley. Now, welcome your host, Jimmy To 8 out of 10 cats does countdown a show all about letters, numbers, and conundrums. Did you know, for example, silent letters in words such as knife and psychic are called aft thongs? Personally, I like a silent P, otherwise, I get nervous and I can't go. <laughs> According to a survey, the most annoying words last year were selfie and twerk. Fair enough, my girlfriend was seriously annoyed when she caught me twerking out a selfie. <laughs> Palindrome is a word that looks the same from both ends. It's basically the word equivalent of your mum. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get started. <laughs> OK, let's meet tonight's players. First up is John Richardson. John shoots all his clocks fast, so he's never late, and it works. Of course, the other reason John is never late is because John is never invited. <laughs> I was invited here. Mm, you keep turning up. <laughs> and John's teammate this evening, Jonathan Ross. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of dreading the intro now. In entomological terms, the name Jonathan means God has given him, and Ross means a tongue too big for his mouth. <laughs> Again from this evening, it's Sean Locke. <laughs> Sean left school with only one A level, but that didn't hold him back. What's held him back is his laziness, personality, and looks. Joining <laughs> 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 Sean tonight, it's Rasheen Connerty. <laughs> Rasheen's from a large Irish family, so every time she plays a gig, she takes the roof off and sells the lead to her uncle. <laughs> Sean, uh, you've had a few months off countdown. Are you keeping your mind fresh? Keeping active? Well, yeah, yeah. I've been, I've been, awake. <laughs> I've been awake, you know, get a regular sleep in, you know, every night. Um, Have you prepared for this at all? The best way for me to prepare for this show is to go into a pub, right, go up to the biggest, hardest man in the pub, offer him out for a fight, get the shit beaten out of me, right? <laughs> and then the next day, go back to the same pub, go exactly the same road, <laughs> do it over <laughs> and over <laughs> and over again. <laughs> Am I the big man in the pub in that analogy? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's spelling and, spelling and counting rather than fists. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Should you take John out and get him drunk the night before the show? Yeah. No, I'd rather lose. <laughs> <laughs> Machine, what do you think your strength is going to be this evening on the show? Uh, I would say my strength will be uh, my dexterity at mathematics and linguistical skills. <laughs> My weaknesses are I'm a liar. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, Jonathan, your first time here, are you excited? Yes, I am excited. I'm excited because I think I'm going to win. I didn't think I was going to win when I was first invited because I thought I was on Sean's team. But when I turned out and found out I was with John, I now feel really, really confident. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm still here. Yeah. And I could be a force that no-one's reckoned with. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> There's such a thing as beginner's luck. <laughs> I don't think it works with language. <laughs> One in a hundred people lands in Italy and just knows Italian. <laughs> just turned up in Germany and I just got lucky. Turned out <laughs> that I knew all the words. I know English. I know English. It's English, right? <laughs> John, when you excel at Countdown, you're very good at Countdown. Are there any other game shows you sort of watch on TV and think, I would nail that? Uh... I'm waiting for world's strongest man, but <laughs> like emotionally. <laughs> <laughs> so you've just got to pull a truck along using the power of hope. <laughs> just withstand a barrage of insults. Have you got a mascot this evening? Yes, I have. Well, it's, it's a friend of mine, really. Oh. Uh, this is uh, Terry. Uh, Terry's my rescue goldfish. You, so you're... What's happening is unscrupulous pet shop owners are spraying fish gold and selling them on to kids. And then obviously the, the, the paint wears off and they go black and they get washed down toilets and left in water coolers at work. Uh, so I adopted... <laughs> I adopted Terry and uh, we were watching Countdown at home one day, because that's what I like to do. Uh, and it turns out he's, 
He's amazing. What I want to know is where in the wild would a goldfish come across some Greek columns? <laughs> <laughs> because we're away, this is his holiday tank. <laughs> Jonathan, have you got a mascot? The one I thought I was grabbing today, I, I grabbed the wrong mascot. I was going to grab my mother-in-law knitted for me. Uh, you know uh, Atom Boy, or the Mighty Atom, the Japanese character invented by the great Osamu Tezuka? Sure. Uh, she knitted it for me, and she had a little voice box put inside it. She got a Japanese woman to say a message to me in Japanese. I think it says, because it's my mother-in-law, keep your hands off my daughter's vagina. But I'm not <laughs> However, I grabbed the wrong toy, and I got this instead. Cause I got lots of, and I got this, which was a much-loved uh, pirate I had as a, as a youngster. Captain Scurvy. Um, I like him. He did have an eye patch as well. What's awful is the eye patch has been pulled off to reveal nothing underneath <laughs> it. I mean, you expect them to be at least a socket. What, that they would sew in an empty socket well, on a children's toy? Yes, they've given him a wooden leg. <laughs> OK, uh, Rasheen, have you, got a, uh, have you got a mascot? I have, yes. Um, what have you got? <laughs> it's a bit like John's, actually, except I'm not actually allowed a, a real thing, so I've just got a certificate of adoption of a three-legged goat. <laughs> <laughs> The closest I'm allowed to have an animal. Uh, this is Minnie, it's a three legged pygmy goat that I uh, adopted. What happened to the fourth leg? Do you know? I don't ask questions. Uh, <laughs> I did a gig and then they gave it to me. Uh, so it's like home. It's my lucky little goat. <laughs> you did the gig and they paid you in the adoption of a three legged goat? I really done well at the gig. <laughs> 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 if you'd have been funnier, would you have got a four-legged goat? Yeah. <laughs> where, does it, where does Minnie live? Right in front of the fireplace to freak people out. <laughs> no, the real Minnie. The, the real Minnie. Some farm. <laughs> uh, Sean, have you got a mascot this evening? Yeah. We've got this, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> it's the world's first e-spliff. <laughs> You could smoke these anywhere. <laughs> Obviously on television or a train. How's the Parliament? <laughs> <laughs> totally legal. I'm not sure that's going to help you. Yeah, it does, because I'll get in the zone. <laughs> <laughs> OK, over in Dictionary Corner, it's uh, David O'Doherty. David's knowledge of the dictionary is encyclopedic, which unfortunately is the wrong book. <laughs> David's written a play called I Can't Sleep, which is not a problem you'll have if you go and see it. <laughs> My goodness. It was a kid's show. It was for kids. There was two beds on stage and we were both asleep when the audience came in. And then I woke up and the audience had to tell me how to get back to sleep. And at the end we were asleep and the audience walked out. And in the last time we did it, an eight-year-old, as he walked past, just punched me in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> David, you were, uh, you were a player last time you were on the show. How are things different over in Dictionary Corner? It's completely different. Over here, I feel over there, over that end of town, it's more entertainment. We're just education right here. Could you not point out your... <laughs> over here, it's over education. Here it's education, <laughs> ladies. <laughs> We're more concerned with ah ha 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 ha, whereas over here we're more into ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, with David, of course, it's Susie Dent. <laughs> Susie is a lexicographer. The word lexicographer, of course, comes from the Greek lexi, meaning not having a proper and cographer job. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, me and Nick Hewer aside, who would be your ideal countdown host? Who would you like to see here? Oh, easy, Arsene Wenger. Every time. <laughs> he speaks, he's really urbane, he speaks loads of languages. He makes words up, so he talks about footballistically, so he might <laughs> say continentally or something. Have you got a bit of a crush? I have a massive brain crush on Arsene Wenger, yes. A, a brain crush? <laughs> Do you not have brain crushes? No. no. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have a crush on John Richardson, that'd be no good. <laughs> and in charge of the numbers, it's Rachel Riley. <laughs> Rachel Riley took over from Carol Vorderman in much the same way as in the wild a young male silverback gorilla will attack and drive out the older male when the older male <laughs> starts asking for too much money. <laughs> <laughs> You've had a break from the show. Uh, how do you keep up your math skills? What do you do? Well, off the back of the success of Cats Does Countdown, we actually, Susie and I do another show called Countdown. 
<laughs> it's, it's really similar. When's it on? It's on every weekday, uh, 2.40, Channel 4. Uh, 2.40 in the day? 2.40 in the day, yeah. Who, who would watch something at 2.40 <laughs> in the day? <laughs> Very pop we're, Sounds we're like the kind of thing for, like, the long-term unemployed and pensioners. <laughs> John Richardson watches it most days. A Sky Plus it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the gym at 2.40, pumping iron. <laughs> <laughs> OK, tonight we're not playing for the Countdown Teapot, we're playing for the Countdown Toaster. Right. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> Why can't we have a speedboat like they used to have on the side of the century and stuff like that? My main worry is that at this point, John's house must be mostly countdown teapots. <laughs> Do you actually use them to make tea with, or are they just a trophy, just a display item, just something you're very proud of? For the record, I only kept two. I kept one for me and one for my mum, and the rest I drank champagne out of, and then I threw off the top of a multi-storey car park. <laughs> OK, let's count down, everyone. Time for the first game. John and Jonathan, you get the first pick of the letters. Do you, do you want to go first? You please pick the letters. Count, I'd like to start with a consonant, please, Rachel. Thank you, Jonathan. Start with R. Just R. Ah. <laughs> if, if I use that in a word and I successfully pronounce it, can we get an extra point? Sure. <laughs> extra points available. Can we get a vowel, please, Rachel? E. Can we have two more consonants? <gasps> Two. T. Shit. C. Why did you say shit? What have I done wrong? Well, you're just two at a time, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> OK. We'll slow it down. One vowel. I. One consonant. F. Vowel. U. Dreadful. <laughs> Can we have consonant, please? T. Let's have another consonant. R. OK, and for the first time today, here's the countdown clock. Oh, I don't like the music. I didn't do very well, but uh, Terry's got a nine. <laughs> Terry's got a nine, that's Terry's impressive. Nine. Jonathan, what have you got? I've got fours. <laughs> Machine? Four? Four, you said that very. The nice one, though. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Is that a bit pervy? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Now, that's a nice word. Sean, what have you got? I've got six. Okay. Machine, I would like to hear your nice four. Tuft. <laughs> Jonathan, what have you got? I had tough, but I also had fret. Fret? Is that like when you fret in someone? <laughs> fret, like you're worried fret. that you're going to come on a show and someone's going to be mean about a disability that you should get a fucking parking <laughs> permit for. Sean, what's your six? Fitter. You got fitter? Yeah. But I wrote fetter. <laughs> I don't know why. I wrote fetter and I used the... There's only one E. Yeah, there is. And I don't know why I wrote that. <laughs> I started writing fitter, I thought, well, no, you've already got fetter. You don't need to write fitter down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, someone's got, like, a bucket of um, blancmange they could throw in my face, that would complete, <laughs> that would complete the experience. Is <laughs> <laughs> that e split? <laughs> John, you're nine? Terry's nine. T sorry, Terry, you're nine? He's forgotten it. <laughs> <laughs> if Terry's got a word, you're going to have to come to me first. <laughs> It's not fair on him. Look at him, he's disappointed now. I can't even look at me. <laughs> it's all right, mate. Uh, David, excuse me. Could they have done any better? Uh, we had uh, some sevens. Uh, fruiter, presumably someone who uh, fruits. Uh, <laughs> a tree. A, a, yeah, or a tree. A fritter, someone who uh, frits. <laughs> and a critter, someone who is a, a critic. <laughs> so at the end of that round, it's uh, four points for both teams. On to our first numbers round, OK? Sean and Rasheen, you're to pick the numbers. I... <laughs> two, two from the top. Two from the top, please. 
Yeah. And the rest wherever you fancy. You, you know you can pick whatever you want. I've got a feeling Sean's pressurising you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want, can I have two? I'm a, OK, just... How does this work? <laughs> 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 just two from the top. Two from the top. And then the rest from everywhere else. OK, you've got a nine, <laughs> seven, eight, ten. This one might be a hard one. And 125. And the target... 387. Uh, piece of piss. Your time starts <laughs> now. It was 387. <laughs> Sean, did you get it? <laughs> <laughs> did you get it? 387? It's funny, isn't it? When you think I was just thinking about a holiday I had. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> saw this fella fall off. Uh, in a, it was a canal. He was trying to go into the lock. And, um, and he was. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the boat was going in at a funny angle. <laughs> so, no. no. No, and it just went. Mine went blank. OK. Uh, Rasheen? No, no, I mean, I wrote nothing Your down. mind started blank. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jonathan, did you get it? I, no, I got around 400-ish. <laughs> but is that... That's not really close enough, No, it's it? got to be within 10. Yeah. Uh, John, did you get it? I got 390. Wow. 390. OK, how did you do 390? 100 over 25 is 4. 100 over 25, yep, 4. Times by 8 is 32. Yep. Add the 7. 39. Times by 10. Times by ten, yeah, three okay, seven points. <laughs> Rachel, you, you go on and on about being good at maths and that. Could it be done? Yep, you could have said ten minus eight is two. two you're correct. Check this as she goes along. Divided by two is fifty. <laughs> yes. Fifty minus seven is forty-three, and times that by nine for three hundred and eighty-seven. Wow. wow. But you know what? Don't clap. Don't clap. It's her job. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so Sean and Rasheen have four. Uh, John and Jonathan have 11. <laughs> yeah, I like to think it's quite a lot down to me there. <laughs> <laughs> OK, time to go across now to Dictionary Corner. David, what have you got for us? I mean, we've all had a bit of a laugh uh, here so far. I think it's time to, to learn something. And I've brought out the... the Yamaha Portasound PSS 260. <laughs> I've been working with my friends, Mike and Claudia. Uh, we love nature, but we are scared of nature. So instead, we've been staying inside, uh, making up facts that sound like they might be true. <laughs> and I'd like to present, with the help of the dentalist, I would like to show you some of our greatest facts. First slide, please, Susan. A group of more than 10 hammerhead sharks is called a toolbox. <laughs> Less than ten is called a tool belt. A group of any number of great white sharks is called a... Ah! Next slide. Put it the right way round, please. The other right way round. The reef shark is the only other an animal on Earth that celebrates birthdays. Here we see a group who planned a surprise party for their friend. <laughs> Note the jellyfish birthday cake on the left. <laughs> Next. Due to the high iron content in a panda's liver, the panda bear is slightly magnetic. <laughs> if you blindfold a panda and spin it round, it'll be drawn due north. <laughs> Next. Nine out of ten shark attacks take place in water. <laughs> of the 10% that take place out of water, the most common scenarios are on the decks of fishing boats, people falling out of bed during shark-based nightmares, <laughs> and stuffed sharks falling from their mountings and crushing people to death in museums. <laughs> Finally, if a panda gets struck by lightning, its black hair turns white and its white hair turns black, and they are known as negative pandas. <laughs> if it gets struck by lightning a second time, it reverts back to its original colours, and they're called a double negative panda, <laughs> or just a panda. 
Here is your teaser. The words are rude knobs, and the clue is people like these after a breakup. That's rude knobs. People like these after a breakup. See you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. The answer to the teaser the words were rude knobs, and the clue was people like these after a breakup. It was, of course, rebounds. So John and Jonathan are in the lead. Okay, time to mix things up a bit now. They've been playing in teams so far, but this game is just for Rasheen and John. So, Rasheen, your turn to choose. OK. Can I have a consonant, please? Yes, thank you, Rasheen. Q. Rachel. May I have a vowel, please, Rachel? You may. You I. A consonant, please. N. Another consonant. V. Oh. <laughs> can I have one of the nice ones, please, Rachel? I can try. <laughs> H. Yes. <laughs> can I have a vowel, please, Rachel? E. Another vowel, please, Rachel? U. Consonant, please. S. Another consonant, please. And the last one. Wrong. L. And your time starts now. Rasheen, what did you get? I got four. You got four? John, what did you get? Terry got a seven. What did he get, quick? <laughs> it was unveils, Ooh. based on lifting the cloth off earlier. That's what reminded him of That's it. Nice. OK, uh, Rasheen, what's the four? News. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. News. How are you spelling it? N E W S. <laughs> I mean, there's one thing wrong okay. with that. <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> I mean, this has gone way worse than I thought it would. <laughs> I thought it would go badly. If you're going to imagine letters, you'd make an eight word. At least, you know. <laughs> Why imagine a W for a four letter word? <laughs> That's so upsetting. It's so, such low self esteem. Okay, seven points there for Andale. Sure. He gets a bit of food when he gets a good word. He gets a good word. <laughs> well done, Terry. Enjoy, mate. Don't overeat. <laughs> Could they have done any better, David, Susie? I think uh, Unveils was the best the thing top. on offer. That was the top that we had. Uh, OK, so at the end of that, Sean and Rasheen have four. John and Jonathan have 18. <laughs> right, time now for Sean and Jonathan to go head-to-head. -head. Jonathan, your turn to pick the numbers. Hey, Sean, are you normally quite good? You're better with the words than the numbers, aren't you? You're better with the words than the math. Oh, I think it's hard to judge. It's like, <laughs> it's like whether do you want to step in dog shit or cow shit, really. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I've watched this game. Yeah. OK. What, what and I think? think going from two from the top, yeah. you give yourself too many big numbers, don't you? And that's tough. I think one's easier than one, two. One, yes, one, exactly. Just or maybe even none from the top and only, like, no, no, two not, from no, the bottom. No, no, no. <laughs> you need a big one. Do I need one big no, None yeah. from the top's quite hard. Go one from the top and well, play it's it your safe. Choice. It's not your fucking choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do what you want. One from the top, John. please, Rachel. One from one the top. From you, you... It's just one. We just want one number. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going to it works out. Right, one large. You've gone easy. You've lost your nerve. One large, five No, small. then change it, then. All from the top. All from the top. <laughs> apart from one. Can't. All from one the top. Up. Except Put one, one up. You can't change it. What's your final answer? Three, three from everywhere. <laughs> three, eight, and nine, and then we'll have fifty and one hundred and seventy-five. Oh, for crying out! <laughs> <laughs> target three hundred and sixteen. Okay, your time starts now.
So the target was 316. Jonathan, did you get it? I think, OK, I, maybe I've got this one. I think I got 308. OK, Sean? I got 317. What the mother... What uh, the... <laughs> Sean, let, let's hear the 317. Uh, three times 100 is yeah. 300. Oh, 300. Well 8 plus 9 is 17. <laughs> <laughs> Just for, just because you seem very excited, what did you do? Well, I was trying to use lots of numbers. <laughs> so I took the thief and the nine to give me six, and the six times the 75 is... 150. Yes. <laughs> and, and from that, I took 100. 350, we're getting warmer. OK, and then what have we got less on the board there? We've got... Uh, an eight. <laughs> got your 50 left. And that's oh. how I got down to that exactly. Nice. Yes. You and see. used all the numbers. I used all the numbers. Surely that counts for something. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> oh, could it be done, Rachel? Yeah, you could have said 75 times 3 is 225. Add the 100 and take away the 9 for 316. <laughs> OK, so Sean and Rasheen have 11. John and yeah. Jonathan have 18. It's getting closer. OK, time to go across to Dictionary Corner. David, what have you got for us? Um, it is a pleasure, obviously, to be on my... Um, Second favourite uh, TV show on Channel 4. <laughs> this song is dedicated to my favourite show on Channel 4. This song is called Grand Designs. <laughs> Pregnancy, snow, <laughs> stupid hay bales, <laughs> light tubes. Now it looks like we live in an office in a field, and no one ever comes to visit us out here in the middle of nowhere anymore. <laughs> Kevin, we want a huge sitting room so we can have all of our friends over for parties. Yeah, good luck, anyone ever visiting you there. There's a reason the land was so cheap, only 60 miles from Plymouth. <laughs> Grand designs. Kevin didn't even like it in the end. He says it takes all sorts to make a world, and it's good that we're not the same. I, I hate your stupid house. It looks like a Tesco extra. <laughs> we have to stay together for an extra six months so we can come to film his wrap up. I think the only thing we learned is the problem was with our relationship and not the house. <laughs> Here's your teaser. The words are hello, poo, and the clue is help in a sticky situation. That's hello, poo, help in a sticky situation. See you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. The answer to the teaser, the words were hello, poo, and the clue was help in a sticky situation. It was, of course, loophole. <laughs> Before we go on, he doesn't work here anymore, but for some reason he keeps turning up anyway. Please welcome Joe Wilkinson! Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Joe. Hello, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> what have you been up to, Joe? Well, you know, um... <laughs> I was, um... I was fired at the end of the last series, which is bullshit. Um, <laughs> so I've had uh, quite a lot of spare time on me, and so as you can see, I've been cloning myself. <laughs> you been cloning, how, how have you been cloning yourself? Oh, it's quite easy. Just uh, you need some firelighters and loads of skin. <laughs> so you see, I've done about two hundred of them, and uh, they're all. I'll be honest with you, they're all pretty shit. <laughs> um, I can't quite get it right. It will go a bit wrong, like, I like this one, I like this one, um, but, unfortunately, he's got 11 nipples. <laughs> uh, this one I like, it's too tall, too tall. I don't know why I'm here, that's just my dad. <laughs> Told you to stay in the van, ridiculous. I like this one, this is one of my favourites, but, unfortunately, when he tries to talk, the only noise that comes out is a foghorn.
this. Uh, one, two, three. Let's, Let's play the countdown! <laughs> If you're going to stay and help on the show today, Joe, you can keep one of them. You can't one keep of them. them. I'll have to be this one. It's the only one that house trained. Uh, <laughs> take the other two to the abattoir, would you? <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's play countdown! I'm a little bit scared. Is, there, is that where you're going to stand? Fucking brilliant. <laughs> OK, on with the game. Uh, John and Jonathan, your turn to choose the letters. Well, I, I, I can't remember. I really got time to help this one. I'm working on the next one. Uh, <laughs> I, I like it. I'm just worried I've made the ear too big. <laughs> got a feeling it might be a half-decent unicyclist. Don't know why. <laughs> why don't you choose them this time? Yeah, we're on our own here, cos our yeah. fog-on's upset Terry. <laughs> <laughs> His first family flushed him, he got washed out into the shipping canal. <laughs> He's having some flashbacks. It's all right, he'll be back. Uh, we'll have a consonant, please, Rachel. I don't like it. It's got a bit creepy. He's all right. <laughs> He's not too touchy. <laughs> and a vowel, please. A. Consonant, please. G. Another consonant, please. N. And a vowel. E. Consonant, please. S. And a vowel, please. I. And a consonant, please. B. And a vowel, please. And the last one, E. Good luck, everyone. And your time starts now. He's just given me an eight. Ooh. An eight? Yeah. Pretty impressive. Jonathan, what have you got? I've got sevens. OK, good. Sean? Eight. No, I've got eight. Uh, OK, sorry. Jo Jonathan, I made a mistake. I, obviously, I, I'm spelling better than I can add up. Both of mine are eights, but I counted them both as sevens. So <laughs> I think we can let you have that. OK, OK. Rasheen, what have you got? Four. Your brilliant four. Is it news by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> what have you got? Nest. Nest. And you, you double check that. Okay. Well, that is one of the most patronising rounds of applause you'll ever hear. <laughs> uh, Sean, what did you get? Um, just to ask a question. Do you, have, do you have to use the hyphen in ice cream? Do you have to have the hyphen? Can't have hyphens on countdown, but they're kind of a dying thing. So can anyway. I just have ice cream? Uh, if it's in as one word, yeah. Can well, I go for ice cream? <laughs> How are you spelling ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's two words. You can't even have it anyway. <laughs> Did you imagine a C? No, but I just figured... <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I took a risk. Well, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you took a shot, it didn't pay off. It's fine. Uh, John, what'd you get? Uh, well, Terry was telling me about, uh, before they flushed him down the toilet, his family used to knock him about a bit. And he was oh saying, my God. I, I took a lot of beatings. <laughs> and he said, he just winked at me at the end and he went, and that's there as well. <laughs> Fantastic. Beatings. So well done. Yeah. <laughs> you had two eights, you think? I, well, I got beatings, and I also, I'm not sure if the other one works, I got tangiest. Tangiest? Yeah, tangiest. Yeah. Like the tangiest thing. Well done. Um, oh, we need two T's, otherwise we're Oh, go fantastic. fuck yourself. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just move on. Let's I've move got two on. eights, all right? <laughs> OK, so at the end of that, uh, Sean and Roisin have 11. John and Jonathan are in the lead with 26. <laughs> On to another numbers round. Uh, Sean and Roisin, pick your numbers. I'll have one from the top and then the rest from whatever you feel like grabbing them. Does anyone mind if I watch Taggart? <laughs> <laughs> we got 10, 3, 9, another 9, 6 and 50, and the target 
437. And your time starts now. <laughs> wow. Mm, it's a good one. What year is that from? It's just going to be in the um, in the So the target was 437. Did you get it, Sean? No, I got 435. Machine? I might have got it. OK, John, did you get it? You got it? And Jonathan? I think I got 436. 436. OK, let's hear Rasheen's. 10 times 50. 10 times 50 is 500. Uh, 6 times 9 is 63. 6 times 9 is 54, but keep going. <laughs> I haven't got it. <laughs> Go on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Then Push minus that, minus 54. Yeah, 446. And then I'm six. way off. So you... Oh, no, you're only nine off. Nine off? There's a Eight, fucking nine, nine up there. <laughs> There's two nines, Machine. OK, take the nine off. <laughs> hey, Jane, did you get it? Yes, I did 9 times 50 minus 10 minus 3. 9 times 50, 450, yep, yeah, same result, well done. <laughs> so that's 10 points to each team. Done. Thank you go. <laughs> OK, time to go across to Dictionary Corner one last time. David, what have you got for us? Well, uh, Joe has been busy cloning uh, versions of himself, whereas I don't have to do that because every time I've ever been on this program, I get the next day, I'd say at least six tweets from people saying they've found someone who looks a lot like me. This is just a very common setup. And <laughs> so I put together some of the best. We start with a classic. It's uh, <laughs> E.T. era Steven Spielberg. <laughs> so uh, That's the me. one on the left, yeah? On the <laughs> Alf. <laughs> This is a good one. It's a, an ancient <laughs> ceramic lion from a museum in Scotland, someone said to me after the last time I was on this show. Uh, this Antarctic explorer. <laughs> I'll be honest, that is actually me. I just wanted to dress up as an Antarctic explorer. So I put that in there as a curveball. And then um, I get told a lot I look like uh, the late Keith Moon, the amazing drummer from The Who. Uh, but what's interesting about this one is that uh, John Entwistle, the bass player from The Who, looks a lot like uh, Joe Wilkinson. So this is a picture of not me, <laughs> not Joe Wilkinson, hanging out. <laughs> the scores. Thank you, David. Uh, the scores at the moment are Sean and Machine have 21, John and Jonathan have 36, and here is your final teaser. The words are bum fling, and the clue is just messing around. That's <laughs> bum fling, just messing around. See you after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. The answer to the teaser. The words were bum fling, and the clue was just messing around. It was, of course, fumbling. <laughs> OK, time for our final letters game. Uh, Sean and Machine, your turn to choose. OK, can we have... A consonant, please. You do those. I'll, 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 I'll whack a You're vowel. You're going to help. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, I'm bored. L. <laughs> Another consonant, please. Fine. D. Another consonant, please. X. Oh. And another consonant, please. We've got to chain him up. <laughs> Vowel, please. So is that something you can do, or did he learn that by himself? Hey! <laughs> vowel, please. Vowel, another vowel, that's, uh... Go for it. Yep. A. A. And another vowel, please. Uh. <laughs> U. U. Another vowel, please. <laughs> This is so much work. <laughs> e. And a consonant. 
And a consonant, yes. please. Yes. Sit down, sir. <clears throat> N. What's the last one? N. It N. doesn't matter. And your time starts now. I don't know if to take a risk on a seven. Take a risk? Come on, live dangerously. You're a dreamer. Six. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go for seven, I'll go for seven. You're going to go for seven? OK. Rasheen, what have you got? I think I've got uh, five. But, and you've you double-checked the letters are actually up there? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jonathan? I think I've got eight. No, I, I'm going to go back to my... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to... Cos when you said check the letters are up there... I'd like to go back <laughs> <laughs> to my original of six. OK, John? Uh, seven. Seven. OK, Rasheen, what was your five? Drone. That's good. Uh, Sean, your six? Nodule. Oh. Oh, nice. Could I have had nodular? Oh, with an A. Or with A, A nodule. Oh, yeah, yeah with yeah, the yeah, A, R, you figured. could have. So, well, you have got the A. Yeah. yeah. So you I could... should have had nodular, shouldn't I? Yeah, would have been great. OK, uh, John, your seven? Well, Terry and I once had a bath together. <laughs> I thought he might like to get in the bath. I said, I thought he might like it. I thought I might like it. Um, but he was allergic to it, and I very quickly had to un dox the water. Because <laughs> the chemicals made him sick. Oh, well, I just double-check, but I'm pretty sure that would be in the dictionary, Susie. Uh, sadly, it's not. If it was, it would have a capital R in the middle, anyway. OK, Jonathan, you're eight. Unloader. Oh! oh. That's, that's pretty good. Well done. I think it's in. Great one. It's Thanks. in! It's in! It's pretty impressive. I'm going now. Good night, everybody. You've been a lovely crowd. Thank you. I'm not going to get anything I've done. I'm not going to drop it. I'm not going to drop it. Thank you. I think he's made the right decision to go now. He's not going to get a nine. <laughs> uh, David, Susie, could they have done any better than that? Oh, that's brilliant. Uh, we had to, we had much more boring eight, didn't we? Hey, sorry to interrupt, but John, Jonathan, have you noticed nobody's trying to get you back? Jonathan Ross, I'm giving it another. I want him back. <laughs> Bye -bye. <laughs> David, what, what did you have? There's one um, eight-letter word, which is uh, Euroland, which doesn't have a capital E. It uh, doesn't they? to use as an expression for countries where there is... It sounds like a pan shop in Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, Sean and Rasheen have 21. John and Jonathan have 44. <laughs> so... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> We're playing our joker. <laughs> Points, Double points, so Double you point. still can't win. <laughs> <laughs> by a lower margin. <laughs> right. OK. Draw a better picture. <laughs> no, sorry. Sorry. Oh, I wouldn't have let you do it, but <laughs> still not enough. <laughs> OK, fingers on buzzers, it's time for today's countdown conundrum. Is it? Sure, <laughs> 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 so I'm going to have to hurry you. Come on. Ready? Yeah, d is it? Where, you, where you want to need to nip off? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> where do you, you need to go, Jimmy? No, I was going to hurry you. No, no, I've got it. I've got it. For 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 noon. For noon. Fanunatar. It's an Irish. <laughs> Fanunatar. Is it Fanunatar? Oh. It is. It is not Fanunatar. We're going to restart the clock. <laughs> John. Is it it's when you've had a big stew for lunch and then the afternoon becomes a fartanoon? <laughs> I've got it. Of course. Go on. Afternoon. But I've got it from fartanoon. <laughs> you... you... 
So the final scores are Sean and Roisin have 21 points, but tonight's winners with 54 points are John and Jonathan. <laughs> Congratulations, you're now the proud owner of this countdown toaster. I'll just pop it on the top, it's fine. It's fine. He's allergic to toast. <laughs> Thanks to all our panelists, our wonderful studio audience, and to all of you for watching at home. That's it from us. Good night. Next a Friday from 9, more Cats and Countdown. Derek, funny person, Ricky Gervais. The Series 1 box set is free on 4OD. Next tonight, the boys from Jump Street, Channing Tatum, Jonah Hill, a 21 was good, 22 looks better. Alan Carr has them in for the chat.